Hey guys, my name's Zach. Hey, and I'm me here. And this is going to be our first tutorial of making a game, maze game in Game Maker. And we have here our agenda on the right of what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is going to see what this game is going to look like at the end of this tutorial. And then we're going to start the game by allowing you to make it. And we're going to create the main character. Then we're going to move that character. So let's see what this is going to look like at the end of the tutorial. So I'm going to run the game. So I'm going to play the game over here. Uh, so far you just see the bear, that's the main character. And I'm holding down the left key, and you see it moves to the left, and I'm holding down the right key. If I just press the right key, it just moves a bit to the right, a bit to the left. Similarly, I can move up, down, uh, and that's about it right now. So now that we see what our game's going to look like at the end, we can check that off the list by unbolding it. And we're going to go we're going to start a new file game maker and the first thing we want to do is to create the main character and the first thing we do is create a sprite so sprites are kind of like these images right like they, they, they don't actually do anything but they're just what the player sees that's right they just show up on the screen but they don't really do anything so I'm going to go right click create sprite and I'm going to name it SPR underscore player and I call it SPR because it stands for sprite, so that way you as the game developer know that it's a sprite. Now I'm going to go to load sprite button. I'm going to scroll down and look for what my player looks like. And I see right here, person.png. Open it. And that's what my player looks like. I'm going to uncheck this box called precise closing checking. And click OK. And as me here mentioned, sprites don't do anything. They just there's what you see on the screen. Right. And now that we've created our sprite, we're going to uncheck it off our checklist. And our next agenda item is to create an object. So I'm going to go to Objects. I'm going to right click. I'm going to Create Object. And I'm going to name it OBJ underscore player. And this time, there's two things called player, except one's SPR and one's OBJ, so that I know the difference and each object is tied to a sprite. So I'm going to click this button and I'm going to choose the sprite that I want to tie it to. I'm click OK and we created our object so we're going to check that off the list. Now next thing we want to do is create a room. So here we have rooms. So what's a, what's a room? A room is basically the level in the game. So I right click on rooms, create room, and I have this room. I'm going to go to this settings menu and you see the name I'm going to name it rm for room underscore and then one so that you know it's the first level and now you have go back to this objects tab and you see all your object that you made of uh, we've made the player and I can click anywhere in this room and place that object in that room you can click the checkbox and now we've created the room and we place the character in it so we're going to do that so uh, so I mean, we kind of have the sprite, the object, and the room done, so what happens if we just run it right now? Well, let's do that and see, find out. So we click this green button to run the game, and we should see our character. In hey, it looks pretty similar to like, you know, what we started off seeing, so are we, are we done yet? Right, let's try pressing any of the arrow keys and see if it moves. Okay, I'm pressing the left. Oh, it's not really doing anything. I'm now pressing the up key, the down key, the right key. Uh, well, nothing's thing, really happening. The thing in Game Maker is you have to tell it exactly what to do. So unless you've told it to move when you press the arrow keys, it's not going to move. So let's go do that. Let's click on the X, and let's go back to our player's object. I'm going to double click on it. Now you see this events window and this actions event window. The events are the things that trigger the action. So for our player, we want to have it move when an arrow, when an arrow key is pressed. So we click add event. We go to keyboard and let's start with the left direction so keyboard left so this is the trigger we, what we want it to do is to move left and the way we do that is you see this icon here with the red eight-way directional and it's if you mouse over it says move fixed so I'm going to click on it I'm going to drag it over into the actions and this window pops up so you can click on a direction to make it move I'm going to click left I'm going to give it a speed let's give it a speed of six oh. six there we go 
let's click OK. And so now when we press the left key, it should move left. So we've made our mayor character move left, so we can check that off the list. Cool, let's try it out just to make sure it moves left. All right, let's see what happens. So okay, to um, moving left, and I let, hey, it just went out the window. Um, I just even pressed the left key. I didn't even do anything. I just zoomed off. So what happened was, like I said, you have to tell the gamer to do everything. So we press left, and it moved left, and it just keeps moving left. But what we have to actually tell it to do is when you stop pressing left, or any key to that matter, to have the character stop. So I'm going to double click my player object. And I'm going to add event, and I'm going to keyboard. This time I want to do no keys. So this way, when no keys press, I want my player to stop. I'm going to make it stop similar to the way I made it move. I'm going to drag this icon over. This window pops up. You see this center thing? Call it looks like a stop button. And have the speed set to zero. Click OK. Then click OK. And now let's run it and see if it stops when we just press it and let go. left and hey it seems to be working I'm gonna hold left cool so that's working um, pressing the up and the right so I'm guessing they're not doing anything so I guess we gotta do those as well right so we told it to go left and to stop and so now our character stands still so we can check that off the list but we still haven't told it to go right up and down so I'm gonna go back to my player object double click on it and I'm gonna go to add event keyboard uh, this time up and then I'm going to drag my move over. This time I want it to go up at a speed of 6. Click OK. And I want it to go all the other directions. So I go Add Event, Keyboard, Right. And I drag over my move. And I want it to go right at a speed of 6. And lastly, I want it to go down. So I go Add Event, Keyboard, Down. And drag over the move thing. Down, speed of 6. Click OK. Click OK. Sweet. So let's should be. Well, let's take that off because we, we just finished it, right? That's right. So we finished the move to the right. So we can check that off. Move up, check off, and check off that one. And let's right. run our game and see if everything works good. All right. So there's the bear. Gonna press right, holding right, press up, holding up, press down, holding down. And we've already seen the left work, so cool. We have exactly what we plan to do. All right, sweet. So we have our first game with the player moving. So we can check off this done. And remember to always save. And I'll save it. Call it any whatever your teacher asks you to uh, do. I'm going to call it uh, hmm, my first game. It's already here. All right, save. Great. All right. Well, that's the first part of this mini series tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy working on it and make sure to ask your teacher for any help.